Hey guys, RC here. We are back. We have a job interview. It is June 7th, so we have been out of work for a little while. Before we go to the interview, let's just kind of take a quick look. So, taking a look at me, right there. So, we did not lose any of our reputation, so we're still one and a quarter star reputation. Uh, we've got the experience in the U.S. and France. Uh, you know, we have uh, no scouting knowledge of uh, Norway with Halson. Not Norway. Where are they at? Yeah, it was Norway. I was right. I was thinking Sweden. Uh, I had Sweden on the brain because of what I've been looking at lately. Um, I actually just put a question up over at uh, SI. So... You know, I screwed up when I put my coach in. I, I didn't change the date and because I had simmed ahead 30 years, right? So I should only be 40 years old now in the game. And I asked, does age play a factor in getting jobs? If it does, I may have to start with a new, I may have to start a new journeyman. Um, let me know what you guys think about that because I don't know. I mean, but if age does, then I screwed the pooch. You know, my coach should have been retired probably after 30 years, right? And I should have started a new... A whole new guy but I didn't I brought in the one that I already had so shame on me but that's that's what's going on there so if we take a look at the jobs you can see I actually applied for Accrington Stanley uh, didn't get an interview and they're only a one-star reputation team so I was applying for several England jobs trying to get back to England and they were all, you know, one to two star max. I, I, I wasn't going for anything crazy. Um, you can see the jobs that I'm applying for is your gardens, uh, uh, I don't know, Scoved, Glen Avon. A lot of these I haven't heard back from. Uh, Cremonese is a one and a half star in Italy. Uh, their fans laughed me off. Um, Tranmere told me no. Uh, well, I think they told me no. But, you know, these are the kind of clubs that, that I have been applying at. And we have not gotten a single interview. So that's troubling, I guess. And let's see, with Mets, uh, Milestones, Mets. So we've been out. Of, I mean, you know, I resigned on March 18th. By the way, how are they doing? I did check in on them early on. They hired uh, Christoph, Christoph Martz. He's actually a pretty good-looking coach. Uh, if we look at the schedule, and we resigned right here after the Nice game. So they ended up losing to Bezers. Then they won. They won two games. Who got the goals here? Uh... Benjamin Lacroix got a brace. He got another goal. Gee whiz. All right. I don't know what kind of tactic they're playing. Let's see if we can figure that out. Yeah, they're playing a 4-4-2. So they're, uh, okay, so they were playing Lacroix up top. Uh, they lost to Con Kane 3-2. Um, who's that? Zimmer with a brace. They did have a player. So they lost 3-2 and they were a man down. Then they won two to one. They lost to Dijon three to one. Now we had lost to Dijon four one, so a little bit better. Then they beat Chamblay Thel three two, a two two draw, and they made the playoffs. Oh, the League Two playoffs. There we go. All right. So they lost. They drew, and I'm guessing that means they got relegated. Lost seven to four. So yeah, they got relegated. All right. Well, you know that's you know that's disappointing, but I mean, heck, they you know they put together a nice run there at the end, I suppose. Kudos to him. So yeah. Anyway, so I I'd been trying to apply for my own jobs because I really would like to get back to England, but everything coming up is is you know Sweden. Uh, you know, really small, semi-professional. I was trying to stay with professional clubs. So I think we're just going to have to dip our toes back in with a, with a lower team and then rebuild ourselves. Uh, so this is the club that we're looking at. They're in Division One, 
Division one is uh, currently 89th in Europe. Uh, they're not, e I mean, they're barely above the French Amateur League. Uh, Iceland's uh, first division. I wish I could scroll this, but I can't. Um, but you can see they are in last place, 16th position after 10 matches. Uh, one win, six losses, six points. Now they play 30 matches. And they would want us to fight bravely against relegation, I believe. So let's go ahead and attend the interview. And at this point, beggars can't be choosers, I, I am pretty sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, how many managers have actually worked? <laughs> oh, this isn't Iceland. This is Sweden. But still, I mean, come on, man. We were widely picked in a real relegation dogfight. Um, you have one relegation. Can you explain? Where did we get relegated at? Yeah, we were widely picked. I have my reasons, but they don't matter here. Yeah. You know, you're, 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 you know, especially if the game is coded to not give you any, any respect in the locker room, sheerly based on reputation, right? Even the day you walk in the door, all they look at is the number of stars you have compared to the number of stars the club has, and you get a negative locker room. The game shouldn't hold that against you. I think that's something I think that's something new in FM20, and I think that's something they drop the ball with. Yeah. Support of your players. Yeah. Uh, nope. Make progress on and off the pitch. Work within the payroll budget. They want to finish in the top half. Holy crap. And we're in last place. You can't really suggest changes to that, I guess. So they just gave us a goal of the top half, and now they're saying we would expect you to battle against relegation. Yeah, we'll work slightly smaller, slightly smaller. Nothing else there. All right. Well, I will come back in a minute and let you guys know how that turns out. Well, uh, the interview process uh, went well. They were satisfied, but we are not the right person. Uh, they have hired Philip Carlson. Uh, I think they're they're racist or whatever. Not racist. What's the, nationalist? Maybe that might be the word. I think he's Swedish, right? So they wanted a Swedish guy. So, uh, hey, you know, but uh, so he's there. Uh, I have put in a couple of other job applications. Uh, let's see, Arabath, I actually applied for. Uh, they said it was one of those ones, the, uh, the interview process is over. They just haven't hired the coach yet officially, I guess. Um, Tranmere, I've already applied for that. They told me no. Uh, let's see, who else? I, I just applied for Thisted, Glen Avon, I believe. And yeah, that's it. So, you know, I've applied for a couple more jobs. I really don't want to go down to this division. These are all semi-pro teams. But that's the only thing I'm getting, right? You know, when I'm getting that weekly like Patea, that's, that's one that I've had on my on my email every week for you know since basically the first week i was unemployed um semi-professional poor training they do have good finances and you know we were we we, we didn't have good training with halson um but you know i, I just don't know i don't know I'm trying to see if there's anybody else that might be coming down the line here Var Varnamo, maybe. They're too big. Timra in Sweden. You know, so there's there's a couple. But anyway, uh, again, I will keep you guys in the loop. So we'll see you when something happens. 
All right, well, we are back. I actually have applied for a couple of really low-level jobs. Um, Hasselholm, Scold. Uh, well, there you know, are. Are they? Are, no, these aren't the ones I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about, uh, yes, uh, BK Forward and IFK Malmo, uh, Division One and Division Two uh, in Sweden. Uh, pretty low. Uh, but these were the two best out of the four on my last job suggestion. However, we have been offered an interview today with Volsunger, and uh, they are in Iceland. So I've never managed in Iceland before. Uh, I don't guess anybody's managed in, you know, not very, anybody. I don't guess very many people have managed in Iceland before because it's a very small country. Uh, I don't know that there's a ton of people there, a ton of football clubs. So, you know, you just have only a, a relative handful of teams compared to, you know, say England or, or something like that. Um, but anyway, it's in Iceland. The, the, the national shield is pretty cool. Is that what the flag? That's not what the flag looks like. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Uh, those are just generics. They're in the first uh, deal, Carla. I don't know what that means, but that's the 86th rank league in the nation, which is below the second division B in Spain, which sounds pretty low. It is above division one, but you, you can see Germany is the regional league, yeah, Georgia national, Georgia national two, uh, right there with Belarus. Uh, so yeah, uh, and they are in last position after nine games sitting on five points. Uh, they are professional, which I do like adequate training and youth facilities, uh, one and a half star reputation. So they're right in line with us. We're one and a quarter, uh, $114,000 value. No, uh, no rivals. And, uh, I don't know if we can actually look, let's see their key player. Yeah, we can't see jack shit. Uh, playing a 6-6-9 in eight games. So, eh. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's go to the inbox. Let's attend the interview. Sure. Thank you. Uh, how would you overcome the relatively big obstacle of not speaking the language? Um... Another string to my bow. Um, some, a previous experience managing a small club. At my most recent job, um, my record stands up to any scrutiny despite any of that. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Uh, I'm merely considering options. The exception rather than the rule. Same question, basically. Uh, good good uh, relationship with supporters. Um, my reputation. All right. Make progress on and off the pitch. Work within the payroll budget. Avoid relegation. Continue to remain in the league. Sure. Uh, no, I'm not going to promise anything more. Battle against relegation. Uh, proposed is fine. Proposed is fine. Nothing else to propose. Let's see. An outsider. acting accordingly all right so if we look at this am i the favorite now volsunger no i'm not all right well we'll see what happens it shouldn't take long but uh i will be back when we have news all right well we're back another interview has come up this is one of the new ones that i just uh applied at is malmo uh, this is not the Malmo. This is IFK Malmo. Uh, also, just so you can see, 
these are the jobs that are popping up. Now, semi-professional, avoid relegation, but fair size payroll, huh? Norby IF, these are all in Sweden, Division 2. So they're looking for a mid Division 2 mid-table, Division 1 top half. Uh, finances are okay. They're looking for avoiding relegation from Division 1. With a high payroll, where are they at right now? 7th position and they're in 15th. Ouch. Well, let's apply for that one and let's, they were picked fifth and they're in 11th. So they're underperforming. I guess we'll apply for that job as well. And we got the interview. So let's hit this interview. Of course, you know, if you don't want to watch the interviews, this probably isn't the uh, episode for you. But I do appreciate you swinging in. Yep. Things weren't as bad. Uh, I'm merely considering my options. The exception, the exception. Uh, I had a good relationship with the supporters. Uh, don't wish to propose work within the budget top half of the league so this is what's interesting so that's required now let, but where are they sitting so let's see what they actually say uh, top half finish all right yeah we'll do that uh, realistic realistic nothing else to propose all right well so we've got two interviews in the in in the bank. We'll be back when anything breaks. All right, we are back. So I've gone ahead. We're about a month ahead now. Um, I well about a week ahead from the last uh, last part. So last episode, uh, the last part of this episode, uh, Malmo had approached us with a deal. I asked him for a week to think things over. Uh, Malmo, just to refresh your memory, is in Sweden, and I uh, have good memories of Sweden. We uh, we we had the Hammerby save there. Uh, was that nineteen or eighteen? FM eighteen or nineteen? I don't remember, but we had a good run with Hammerby. We did really well, and uh, excuse me. Uh, so they are semi-professional. I asked them for a week to think things over. They said, okay. Uh, Bray Wanderers was a job that I kind of wanted. Uh, Bray, uh, they are in the Republic of Ireland. I'd like to go visit Ireland, maybe kiss the Blarney Stone. That's in Ireland, right? I believe that's, yeah, that's Irish. I, it, you, I'm not on camera right now because I'm wearing a green Irish shirt. Conor McGregor fought last night and won. I'm very happy for that. Uh, let's see. What else happened here? We had a lot of people that uh, got let go. Uh, this uh, this popped up. I actually applied for the Nori, Norby job in Sweden. Uh, they are a professional club, so that excited me. So I've applied for that one out of that group. And declared interest in it. I had an interview with Kara Skrona, or Carl Skrona, I'm sorry. They are in Sweden as well, Division I semi professional. Uh, Bray Wanderers fans laugh off my interest. Thisted offered a job interview. I went there. Thisted is uh, in, where's that at? Denmark, first division. Uh, so went there. They're professional, so that one's got me a little excited. Uh, Norby fans laughed me off. Uh, the Syracuse job, I had, I had applied for that a while back. Uh, they are still interviewing, but I didn't make the short list. And we've just gotten approached by Carl Scarona. So 
I don't know. I don't know if I want to look at this job. So let's let's see. All right. So the the jobs that we're dealing with, Malmo. All right. So Malmo should be coming back today, I think. All right. So they're semi-professional. Basic, basic, okay finances. Uh, let me jot a couple of notes here because I'll forget. I will forget. Somebody took my notebook. Oh, I took my notebook. I had a I had a project I had to work on yesterday. And I am not the most handy fella in the world. And I was out there with my saw and my, you know, nailing stuff together and putting screws in wood and making something. Uh, it looks crappy, but it works. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Malmo. All right, they are semi-professional. 37k value uh, basic basic okay finances all right now if we jump up here why did that what is that uh, don't do that don't break all right now norby is one i would like all right, Norby is professional. They're valued at, now they're only valued at 16K. Now, the two different countries, I understand. Uh, they are adequate and below average and insecure. All right, so they actually may not be as good a fit. All right, and then... But I have not had a interview yet with them. So, I, you know, I really think we're going to have to make a decision here between these two. All right. And then Carl Scrona. Semi-professional. Valued at 171,000. Now that's about 140,000 more value than Malmo. Now I'm guessing below, yeah, below average is better than basic. So their training and youth facilities are a little bit better and they're okay finances. You know what? I think this is the job we're going to go for. Let's take a look at them real quick. So they were in League One. Got relegated to League Two. We're middle of the pack there. Got promoted uh, about six years ago. And then finished second just a couple of years ago. Got relegated two years ago. And then came right back up last year. So so they've got a they've got a run here in League One, but you know, this here in the last couple of years, they've bounced around. Now, League One, they're in 11th position, which is out of relegation, one point. Mm -hmm. So, what's their expectations? Fight bravely against relegation. So, it doesn't say we can't get relegated. It just says that we have to fight bravely. Uh, payroll, 28 and a half. Let's see what they're because you remember that you know at Mets. <laughs> I mean, man, we we uh, twenty eight hundred there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I don't know, they're only at about $10,000, it looks like. 
So we might have a lot of payroll budget room left, plus transfer budget. You know what? Let's start negotiations. Let's take this job. Head coach, one year. Can I get a two-year deal? No. Ooh. All right. All right, they changed this, and I didn't really look. So, uh, you know what? We really don't have uh, we don't have a leg to stand on, do we? So we'll accept that job. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into the boardroom here. All right, FK Carl Scrona have today confirmed the appointment of Raging Cajun as the club's new coach. Eyebrows have been raised as usual in football manager. Seven years of experience with Health Halson and FC Demetz. We lifted the second division Avdelang trophy with Halson, and it could be quite the coup for a club of Carl Scrona's standing. There you go, a coup. Getting me. All right, we uh, are projected to finish seventh. We are not. We are in a 3,000 seat capacity. Exceptional youth recruitment. That's good. Below average facilities. Uh, playing in the first division, won the second division title last year. We play in the Vostra Mark IP. Excellent academy coaching. Success as recently as 2055, a club with a growing history. Won the third tier for the only time just a couple of years ago in 2025. There you go. All right. Looks like they play a 442. No current transfer or loan obligations. All right. Strive to make progress on and off the pitch. Work within the payroll budget. Avoid relegation. Reach the group stage of the Svenska Cup. I uh, don't know what that is. That's not the Swedish Cup, but the Svenska Cup. Must be like uh, the Carabao Cup, maybe. Just a guess. Uh, sure, I'll do this off camera. Uh, send it. Yes, we want both of those confirmed. All right. Well, let me come in and set all of this stuff up. No sense in you guys having to look at that. And I will try to get it where we come back for uh, one match here at the tail end of the episode. So let me do all the busy work here, and then we'll come back and uh, get into a match and start looking at the club and learning the players and seeing who we got out there. Oh, I guess we could look at the players just real quick. All right, looks like our best player is Evan... Montyevi, just a guess. The double letters freak me out. He is a winger and left back. Pacey, acceleration. Decent technicals. He's got good passing skills. He can cross the ball. Off the ball, good movement. Work rate's good. Decision. Actually, he's not a bad-looking little player. He's making 2100 uh, he is signed for another year and a half, it looks like. This guy looks like he is our biggest upside. Homegrown talent with the red headband that clashes with his beard. Uh, not the paciest guy. He's got five goals in 14 league matches. Finishing's not great. He can cross. I'd almost rather him be playing maybe out on the wing. He might be better served as a wing out there for us. Uh, that would make this guy, let's see, our well, yeah, so he is our top goal scorer, but Oscar Frieden looks to be our best finisher. He's 31. He has pace and acceleration. Composure's pretty good. Decision making's pretty good. He can head the ball. He can't jump. So we're going to want low crosses with him. He's got solid finishing and first touch and technique. So, yeah, I think we've got some stuff we can work with here. Well, I mean, you could work with anything, right? Uh, ooh, youth intake preview. 
Healthy number of new fullbacks, wide midfielders aplenty. All right. Nothing. Uh, one good defensive mid who has caught the eye. And this is a terrific group of players who have a chance to be a golden generation. Well, that's nice. All right. Well, let me get on this, and I will be back uh, in just a minute with uh, a match. See you guys.